So, um, I wanted to do something relevant today, and it's sort of raining, so I decided to do the rainy day book tag, as you do, to be relevant. So yeah, my name's Bailey, let's get into it. I totally hit my face when I did that, but it's fine. So yeah, rainy day book tag, I don't know the creator, but if I find it, I'll put them into the description. Yay, let's go. This is like a short book tag, but we'll do it. Do, 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 do. So, question one. Where do you like to read when it's raining? For me, I generally read in the same spot all the time. I'm big on comfort. Um, I always read on my bed or on the bench at the end of my bed because comfort is the best. One problem is when I'm reading on my bed, I sometimes like fall asleep while I'm reading and that's not the best. So maybe I should find a new place to read. But for now, it's the bed or the bench, but mostly the bed. Um, question two. Best book to read on a rainy day? Um, I feel like for me, that's not like a specific book. Probably more like a genre of book. So I think I would say contemporary because a rainy day really brings out those emotions, you know? Kind of really represents mostly sadness, but like emotion. So I'd say a contemporary. I know one contemporary book I'm planning on reading today. Well, I think there's two I'm probably planning on reading, but like one book I'm planning on reading today is probably What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. I'm absolutely in love with Becky Albertalli's writing, and I have a few, I have like the rest of her books back there. I have never read an Adam Silvera book, but I'm really enjoying this right now. The writing style is amazing, and um, I'm in love. It's really good. So I'm going to try and get some, make some more progress on it. So yeah. That's it for that one. Question three. Book with rain. In the book or on the cover? So for this one it's kind of weird because most books have some sort of weather in them at some point and I think it rains at some point in most books. But like, let's look for one anyway. I'm gonna go with Radio Silence by Alice Oseman because it takes place in the UK I do believe and from what I know about the UK, it rains a lot there, so let's go with that. I'm pretty sure it's rain in this book, so this is a book that rains. There's rain in it. So, yeah, there we go. Question four. Book that made you cry. A book that made me cry. There's a few. Let me, let me grab them for you. This series. The A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. So, Akatar, I didn't cry. Like, there's not many, no tears were shed in this book. Akamath, tears were shed. Like, I'm not gonna spoil anything that happened in Akamath, but there were some emotions. <laughs> More toward the end, but there were emotions. Definitely tears shed. Um, yeah. Akawar, I think maybe one or two tears were shed. Not many. This one didn't give me as many emotions as Akamath, but like, there were a few. But really what happened for me with this series was that when I finished it, I FaceTimed my bestie and was bawling my eyes out, thinking that all my favorite characters, all my favorite people, like their story was over. And I was really sad about that. So I was just like crying so many tears after I finished a series. We don't talk about Akafas in this house though. Akafas didn't do much for me. So no tears for that one. That's the tea. <laughs> Question five. Least favorite book. Ooh, there's a few. But I'm gonna go with one that like really I don't like. Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. Red Queen, the first book, I liked. It was good. I liked that book a lot. And then I got to this book and holy moly it dragged so hard. It was so slow. It felt like nothing happened. It was just like not good. <laughs> And like, I liked the first book, and I liked the writing style, it just wasn't, this book just wasn't it for me, and I've read like half of King's Cage, and it's just not working out. I think I'm done with that series. Like, I can't remember any big points that happened in that book, except for one thing, and it's like, infuriating. <laughs> so yeah, not, not, not a big fan of that book. And our final question, question six. Favorite drink for a rainy day? Favorite drink for any day? is a good cup of tea. To get specific, I would say Earl Grey tea because that one just like hits the spot. Love Earl Grey tea. 
this is actually water because I was too lazy to go make myself a cup of tea but like that's it <laughs> tea all the way spill that tea and drink that tea love the tea and that was it for the rainy day book tag thank you for watching um if you enjoyed yay see you later